Good Monday evening to you. Richard Scott here for the forecast updates. Talk about a local weather first off. Live view from Fayette. It's getting cold tonight. 46 there and we are coming up on 10 o'clock at night. We're close to a low temperature because the air temperature and dew point are nearly the same. I don't expect much more of a drop off. Now Tuscaloosa still has some wiggle room. Currently 52 in the Tuscaloosa area. We'll end up in the 40s tonight. No rain locally. That's all ground clutter around the radar site. We got 48 in Haydeville, Gadsden 48, Sylacauga 51, as well as Demopolis, and got some rain north of the state that will stay north of us for tonight. Clouds will increase tomorrow during the day, becoming partly cloudy. Temperatures reaching the mid 60s by the afternoon. Wind out of the north at 10. There's your rain north of the state, and some cold air behind that. Some 20s in Montana and North Dakota. Uh, low 30s around Ely and Grand Forks, also Rapid City, Green Bay, low 30s there. This is our future cast model. Again, we'll see some high thin sears come in occasionally tomorrow. I don't think it'll filter out the sun totally, but on Wednesday, some showers move in. Any rain on Wednesday will be rather light. Thursday, a better chance for rain locally. I don't expect it to rain all day on Thursday, but some light rain certainly at times. In terms of rain amounts, pretty light totals here locally. About a tenth of an inch to a quarter inch here in Alabama. Tropics, we are well past the peak Atlantic hurricane season now. That downhill swing, November 1st, we are getting closer to the end of the season. We have a subtropical storm in the Atlantic. That's Wanda. There's no other development expected. So tonight, 45, clear and cool. Tomorrow, 65, sunny or partly sunny and a cool day. We're in the 50s on Wednesday and Thursday. Don't forget the weekend. We set your clock back one hour. We so fall back. We end daylight saving time. Temperatures over the weekend in the mid-60s.